الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله هيا على الصلاة على الفلاة حي على الفلاة الله أكبر الله الذي صدق وعده ونصر عبده وهزم الأحزاب وحده All of the prayer, all of the praise goes to the Lord, the glorious, the God of all of the worlds, the creator of the heavens and heavens and the earth and everything in between. The creator says in the Holy Quran, اقتربت الساعة وانشق القمر that the hour is nearing the hour is very near وانشق القمر and the moon has been split وإن يروا آية يعرضوا ويقولوا سحر مستمر but but humans most of them who deny the creator their their way is that their attitude is that they keep on denying whatever the sign they see from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the god the glorious in uh, the past uh, few days we have seen a huge sign of the savior the huge sign of the final leader from God, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it has appeared in the past holy month of Ramadan, in which we saw that it occurred, um, the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse at the separation of around two weeks. And it is a huge sign according to Islamic narrations and according to other uh, other traditions as well that when such a thing appears in the holy month of Ramadan then the Savior which we know in Islamic tradition as Imam al-Mahdi would come so that would be the time when the world will be filled with justice and purity and peace and all of all of the 
all of the oppression would be finished and the earth would be cleaned of all worst and bad people and according to the islamic narrations that time has come and it has been proven from other uh, narrations uh, other religions and their traditions as well that the hour is very near but there is a huge difference and there is a huge conflict between these religions that every one of them wants to define the savior according to their own desires the creator of the whole world is one the creator of the whole universe is one and the creator promised the same promise to the humans over and over again and the creator kept on reminding this promise over and over again that wala qad katabna fi zaburi min ba'd dhikri ان الارض يرثها عبادي الصالحون the creator says that we wrote in the psalms uh, in zabur that the earth would be handed over the leadership of the earth would be handed over عبادي الصالحون to my obeying servants to the pious people it was promised to king david and this promise continued to moses and this promise sorry this promise uh, continued to later on uh, jesus uh, isa alayhi salam and so on and so forth until the promise the, that promise reached to muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam that وعد الله الذين امنوا وعملوا الصالحات لا يستخلفنهم في الارض كما استخلف الذين من قبلهم that the promise of the god the creator still stands that the earth would be handed over to the people who trust in the lord the god the glorious the creator of the all all of the universe and all of the creatures but it so happened that the people kept on following their own desires and they kept on denying the messengers they which which came after the other the jews decided to not accept the jesus christ and the christians decided not to accept the final messenger muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so jews want to associate this promise to 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 the semites to to the genetical jews that only jews are worthy of being the kings of the world and the christians did denied Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so they want to associate that final promise to themselves and they think that they would be the they would be the companions of the final savior but the truth is that all of the all of these promises are actually the one promise that came, that the lord the glorious kept on reminding the mankind over and over again and it reached to the final people to the to the to the followers of the final prophet and that that promise would be would come true but unfortunately the people who associate who wrongly associate this promise to god and they want to associate it to 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 specific uh, to to a specific breed to a specific people would be in distress and uh, would be uh, would be the ones at loss and this is going to come very soon and the signs of that time has been completed according to all of these religions the christians think that one the third temple would be built 
the Savior, according to them, Jesus would come. It would be the second coming, according to the evangelical Christians. The Jews think that when the third temple will be built, and the Jews have assembled in the final assembly point of Jerusalem, their Savior, according to them, would come. And the Muslims know that all of these signs have completed according to Muslims' narrations as well. And the final leader appointed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has come and he would be handed over the leadership of the world very soon. It has happened according to all of these religions, even according to Shiite people. They think that 11 of their Imams have come and the final one, the 12th one that will be Imam al-Mahdi would come. So it, it, is com it is converging to a single point from all of different perspectives and from all of the different point of views. And it is converging to the final point where the clash of the civilizations, the Armageddon, or the final Malhamatul Kubra would happen and it would be fought between different claimants and it would be fought between all these different claimants and they would be fighting and the winners would be the ones on the side of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the time for that is very near Allahumma taqabbal minna إنك أنت السميع العليم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد